what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today's video is brought to you by Corpse Crystal Records and good old Tennessee Death Dealers. Piss Rot with their debut self-titled full length. Now, I'm not sure if yeah, that was an EP. Never mind. I'm sorry. And the promo I was on was a promo. I'm trying to remember where my my piss grave, not piss grave, sorry, my piss rot tapes are. But also, Matthew O'Donnell, this is heading your direction for winning the patron prize contest. I do not have a working CD player, so enjoy. As well as Left to Rot, Breath of the Tomb. And you also get a nice little guitar pick as well. Both are sealed. And that will go out ASAP. It's a real nice pick, too. I, I like... I'm pretty sure that's Nick Gage getting set on fire from CZW Tournament of Death. It's like, I might be, it's, I know Zandig, not Danzig, John Zandig, Nick Gage, and I, I swear there's one other person, but the fire spot the fire spot would have gone fine had Nick Gage legitimately removed his shirt. And throughout the match, you hear people saying, Take off your shirt! And if he would have done that... But back to the death metal. Now, I saw that this got a vinyl release by Night Terror Records. I don't know anything about that label, but I do know I have a nice thank you, which is very much appreciated, but when it comes to death metal trios, and especially American death metal trios, Piss Rot legit just the term, I know it's getting a little played out, but there's no other way to explain meat and potatoes death metal. Like, yeah, there's some parts on here you can, like, two-step to, and, you know, you can technically mosh to it. I mean, I, I'm not one of those people, no karate in the back, I don't care. Now, when it comes to push-ups, now take that sh that, that shit, and like the boat, stop. And you can say stop doing karate. Well, would you rap? I'm mad at my dad. You, you don't win in either way, except for as long as you are having fun. If that means doing spin kicks, go spin kick to some piss rot. If that means just whipping your hair, whip your hair. But such a good cover. Like, legit, look at that cover. I want to see that on vinyl. Like, I just want to see 12 inches of this cover. Because it's great. Like, at first, I I was like, wait, that kind of looks like Fight Club. And I'll show you what, why I said that. Because Corpse Gristle... Yeah, Corpse Gristle did the cassette. I forgot to mention that. If I did mention it, I forgot. And I am sorry. 
But as usual, Corpse Gristle with the tape cosmetics. Killing it, but here. I was like, now a lot of you probably never owned the VHS of Fight Club. I have a Fight Club poster, but it's covered by a Tomb of the Mutilated poster. So, I, I can't use that as reference. But it really looks like the soap on... I know you know someone with a Fight Club poster. Doesn't that look like the Fight Club soap? I know some of you just want to disagree with me for the sake of it. But it does, and I don't care what you say. But I, I really dig this release. Like I said, it's some good, straight-up death metal. Like, this goes great with Rut, honestly. These two bands, they... I don't know if they know one another even exists, but I know Steven watches the channel, so he probably does know. But also, I know Pissarot's gotten a little bit more popular. Rancid, cavernous death metal. Again, I'll give them that title, as they are from Tennessee. Because I normally don't like the term cavernous. I, I just don't. It's a word that I kind of try my best to avoid saying, especially on the channel. Because I feel like whenever, a lot of the times when I say that, people just go to, like, Musta Ceremonia, or, you know, the Spectral Voice, or something along those lines, and uh, or, like, the Mortiferum demo, for example, like... I know Maggot Stomp made that term very popular, like the whole, you know, like caveman death metal thing. But, like, cavernous death metal is completely different, obviously. But, still, it's one of those buzzwords that, you know, it does get, like, people talking sometimes. Because it's like, huh. Rancid Cavernous Death Metal, and honestly, they live up to that that tag. To my, in my opinion, they do. This is some really gross sounding in the best possible way. Like the cover, legitimately fits the music so perfectly. I just wanted to look at a bigger version of it. Good old digital frisbees. I'm kidding. I'm kidding! Come on. But now, Piss Rot, self-titled, 30 minutes. Kind of long, but it covers everything I feel like a full length should cover. And you might be like, wait, what? why'd you say 30 minutes is long? Like... You listen and love Funeral Doom, especially Evoking. <laughs> so why are you... What? Okay. Let me just real quick. Evoking play a completely different style of music. Evoking play Funeral Doom. There's a huge difference. Also, the demo is essential. But, anyways, back to Piss Rot. Now, Piss Rot. I honestly, I, I was grateful when they hit me up and asked, like, hey, you want to do guest vocals? I was like, really? Like, oh, yeah. Sick. But, like, Pharmacist, Pharmacist was the first. Wait, I think I have... No, nah, no, nah, a pharmacist here. Like, it's awesome, you know? And I know it's nerdy, but, like... Just, just knowing, like, yeah, I did vocals on a track here. It's just cool. 
And the fact that they, like, post my lyrics on... If you go to the, uh... Oh my goodness. Pharmacist Bank Camp. It has my lyrics for nursery aesthetics. So if you're ever curious what I'm actually, like, saying... Yeah, go go check that out. I hope that the other Pistrot stuff isn't over there. I have a feeling it is, and I'm going to be in a little, not, not a predicament, but I, I should have done this in advance. Yeah. <laughs> I, I really need to organize this later. But I, I apologize to the boys in Piss Rot for not having the back catalog set up. In advance, I, I honest, I should have had that set up, but I want to throw this back on and then talk a little bit more about this beast, and I'll let you get on your way. There's only a few copies left too, so don't sleep on this. I'm gonna try and get it posted like pretty quick. Like I'm gonna shoot this a couple. Of, oh, let me check real fast. Wait, what am I looking for? Oh, duh. See, I'm an idiot. And I know I have a feeling I'm not going to be able to find this. Damn it. I was right. <laughs> I knew I wasn't going to be able to find it. It's here, but... It's... Damn it. Where are you? I'm sorry, folks. I, I need to get more prepared next time. Now, I would... Wait, would I have it with me? God damn it. I'll, I'll have to find it. I don't know why I didn't get it prepared in advance. But... It doesn't really matter, because I'm not talking about the demo, I'm not talking about the promo. I just want to get the name correctly, because I'm pretty sure it's, like, Vile Gunk something, and it's just a, it's just a great, like, I remember as soon as I heard it, I was like, this band is sick, and I can't wait to hear more, and, yeah, they delivered the goods. Like, also, I, I always appreciate a self-title. They could have went any way they wanted, but just keeping it piss rot, good decision, I think. The cover reminds me, honestly, of, like, an exhumed, like, I mean, no offense by this, like, an exhumed t-shirt design. I don't know why, but that's where, like, my brain went to when I first saw the cover. I was like, whoa, it, like, looks like something Exhumed would do. But there's the boys in demon mode. Keep growing your hair, brother. For real. Keep it going. You're at that point where I know it's annoying. Just keep it going. You got it. There's a lot of people when they cut their hair, they get to like the point where it it's like a little bit like over your ears, and I'm not like you, you're like oh, I hate my hair, like it looks stupid. It doesn't really look stupid, but that's what hats are for. I, I just throw because I have dreadlocks. I wear my beanie most and like my helmet, like. But, let's get, I'm sorry, back to these tennis, this Tennessee trio of death dealers. And yes, I just heard some, uh, like, uh, Gudalax type, uh, you know, piggy vocals. But this, I remember that this... 
Kiss Rots self-titled cassette and CD available via Corpse Gristle Records. Again, they are almost sold out of both CDs and cassettes. Now, Night Terror Records did the vinyl. I know zero about that label, so I cannot... Wait, is it? I don't, I don't even know if that is the name of the record label, but I'm pretty sure it's either them or Iron Fortress. Maybe Iron Fortress did the demo on vinyl? I, or EP, whatever. It's vile gunk something. It's like, that's bothering me, though. I don't fucking remember the name of that, that demo. Like... I don't know where, like, they have to be. Keep your shit in ABC order. No matter what. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Especially if you messed up and took too many edibles. Which is what happened a couple weeks ago. I was up here, and I was messing around, and I screwed everything up. Like, I legit screwed. Everything was, like, in a very nice order. Like, all my extremely rotten cassettes were together. I, I I don't know. I went by, like, label. And it was actually, like, a lot easier than I thought. Because I was just curious. I wanted to know how many head split tapes I had. And which was my... What is my oldest head split tape? And I have gone over it. My oldest head split tape is the eye gouger ass attack comp. And it's uh Head Split Record 013. That's my oldest head split tape. And it's one of my favorites also. Like I was just going through, you know, stuff like that. Like top Topos Nomos, West of Everything Lies Death, my favorite Caligari release. And then I forgot, like, oh yeah, they did. Ritual Mass. So, like, I, I had, you know, that's kind of what started the listening party. And then it just got, like, oh, no. Where did I put what? It's, like, right next to me. This was in order. Like, Impure still in order. Kaffa is still in order. Flesh Rot. And then the rest is just... Yeah, like, I just saw... A wait, where where did I see that too? But here, like just the proof is in the pudding. Like I was like legitimately going through like just I was like, I wonder and I don't know why I even did that, but just by looking at this right here, I'm like, oh man, <laughs> you fucked up. But not really, because, like, Sadistic Drives, two releases, Savage Necromancy, Swamp, and then Swamp Beast, Path to the Oasis. And they have a new album out now, I'm pretty sure, on Translation Lost. Check that out. I need to check that out. But there's some badass stuff in here, like, some N NVNM comp. There's a couple NVNM releases. Uh, the two Dudskavad tapes. The Perishing 
tape, caustic, caustic death, I'm sorry. Necro drunks, internal rot, coffin grinder, yo. This is so, uh, this, I don't know, this needs like a legit vinyl release. This is so good. Like, I would love, like, put that bad boy on a B-side etching and then just have the five tracks on, like, an A-side. Woo! That would be amazing. Goat Throne Records. Check this out. Coffin Grinder. That band rules. But, yeah, that's what I mean. My shit's out of, not out of order, but literally out of order. But, like, my dead infection tapes are together, so, yeah, I screwed up. But, I'm sorry again, piss rot. If you're looking for some legit, straight-up death metal. Again, meat and potatoes, but gross, cavernous, Tennessee death metal. And the American death metal vibe is front and center. There's no, like, let's pretend we're from Finland. I'm not being a dick, either. Like, there's just some bands where it's like, why did you throw that at, like, why is there a Demi Lich part here? Why? 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 What? Like, and same with Abhorrence. Like, Hey, that's the call in the Vortex riff. It's been done! Stop! But, thankfully, yeah. The only bands that Piss Rot are taking cues from are the Titans of Death Metal. And let's see real quick what shirts we... Oh, see, I, I, I like... When a band wears their own merchandise in a t-shirt, I mean, in a promo photo. I'm a, I'm a nerd about, I think it's just sick. I, I, I personally, I, I, I think it's, it's sick. It's like, I, I'm representing my shit, you know? I, I, that's how I view it, as I'm just representing. I never viewed it as, like... Look at my band. My band's cool. I never ever thought about it like that. Now, I will agree. I, I do hate the button-up black, like, baggy cargo pants and the, the buttoned-up black, uh, collared, like, Dickies shirts. Please stop. Immolation. Like, I'm giving you a pass, but, like, it's one of those things, like, there's, there's quite a few bands that do it. Like, more legacy death metal. Like, if you go and see Morbid Angel, I guarantee you Trey is wearing these, like, super baggy, like, cargo pants. And, I don't know. It's whatever. I don't give a shit. But, um... I was trying to read the other uh, shirts, but I see a spectral voice on Road to Corridors of Unbeing t-shirt. Okay, this one's a little bit... This is a... Wait, this is a different promo photo. Sick! So the tape and CD have different promo photos. I'm guessing this is on the inside of the CD, though. But, uh, let's see what shirts, if I can, if I can see what they are. Alright, can't really read that one. Don't recognize the logo, I apologize. But it looks like Arkspire? Arkspear? Ah, shit. I'm not, okay, he's wearing, this is the same shirt that's in the other promo photo. I couldn't read that one. And this long sleeve, looks like Mortiferum, but 
I'm probably wrong just because it doesn't look like the logo. I don't know why I care. But it's sick. Or maybe it, it's definitely an M at the end. I, I don't know. But what I do know is the music rules and that's all that matters. And this was recorded at the Piss Dungeon. And we have Caden Taylors on vocals and bass. Uh, Aaron Mark on vocals and guitar. And Cole Taylor on drums. Hell yeah. Death Metal Power Trios are bad ass. I know some people like having, you know, two guitar players. And yeah, it's ideal to have two guitar players in a live setting. It just makes life way easier and you're way heavier. But you can... All you have to do is just know how to work around your situation. And you don't really need two guitar players. I'm not going to give away how to do that. But if you're in a band, you already know how to do this. It's very easy. It involves pedals and multiple amplifiers but anyways the self-titled piss rot 10 tracks around 30 minutes now for the accursed womb full length we're aiming for slayer rain and blood time like we want to kind of be around that time because it's like to me Especially with today's attention span, it's the perfect length. But having 10 tracks is great. But beaten into bits, incest, deathmatch, premarital hanging, rituals of molding urine, putrescence, oh my goodness. Sawed off human, anthropophagus, reek, malignant savagery. And sentient chokes of abysmal afterbirth. Yes, sentient chunks of abysmal afterbirth. How do you not want to listen to that? If you're a fan of death metal, you're a fan of piss rock. Get into these Tennessee maniacs before the self titled's gone. Thanks again to Corpse Crystal Records. Thanks to Piss Rot. Thank you for watching. The patron. Anyone that made it this far into the video. Thanks for watching as always. You fucking rule. Hails and peace. Yeah.